Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. So I was browsing through Facebook the other day and I noticed a new fish shop in my area. It's a shop called Sustainable Aquatics. I thought that name was really interesting. So why not check it out? I would normally do this anyway. If there was a shop that opened near me, I'd go and have a wee sneaky peek and have a look around. But I messaged them, asked them if I could come and take a look and take my camera with me. And they said, sure. So the name Sustainable Aquatics was the thing that first pinged my attention. Uh, obviously it gives some connotations that you think it might be doing something environmentally friendly so I checked out the website and indeed that is what they're going for um, I'll put up a link to the website in the description you can go and have a look for yourself but essentially they're saying things like they won't stock fish that are on the endangered list uh, they want to use suppliers who can back up their claims of uh, sustainability or environmentally friendly and all that good stuff so it's a great idea it's the kind of thing that I really like so Let's go and check it out. So we were just talking about um, sustainability because obviously they're going for a sustainability team here and you said that you're trying to do that throughout your supply chain? Yeah, so everything from our suppliers, so from plants to live goods to dry goods, everything's from sustainable and ethical suppliers. Yeah. So take for example our plants come from Aquaflare in Holland, they uh, use 100% solar power. So we've changed our suppliers recently just because we wanted to make sure that throughout our supply chain everything's completely sustainable. Um, we don't want to have any impact on the environment where possible, so all of our fish are completely captive bred. Uh, the only fish species that we do have that's wild caught is the clown loach, and the way we do that with our suppliers is we know exactly where that's from, who it was taken by, and exactly what route it's taken to get here. Um, I studied geography at university, and I was completely shocked to find out that a species such as the Bangai cardinal fish, they um, have been completely decimated in the wild. Um, they're now a CITES listed species and they're trying to get them um, classified under one of the appendices. So as part of that I learned that for every one fish that we get here in the UK, about nine or ten have died trying yeah. to get here. So I just want to have absolutely no, no part in that and we just wanted to make sure that all of our stock, our customers had, could have complete faith that everything didn't have an impact on the environment. So your first impression of an aquatic shop that's got sustainability at its core might be that it's really expensive, but that's just not what I found here. I found a lot of the prices were comparable or even lower in many cases than some of the other local fish shops I have around my area. Um, the place itself it was great. It's not the biggest shop in the world. Um, there are certain things they just don't have, but like most fish shops, they are willing to order in anything that you need. Um, a couple of customers were in asking about things and they say they're happy to order them in, get them on order for you, keep them in quarantine in the back, you can pick them up when you want to. Uh, they also talked a little bit about some of the community work they do, so they, I think there's a local hospice that they've got where they'll go in and they've given them a, a fish tank which they maintain for them. Um, and it's a lot to do with the mental health of especially older people with dementia. It can bring them back to a time that they remember and really just to help them out. So I've got nothing but support for these guys and I wish them all the best.
So I'm back from Sustainable Aquatics. I was really impressed. It's nice to see a place that's just not concerned with the bottom line all the time and um, that stands for a little bit more than just making money. Um, obviously that is the name of the game but yeah it was just really impressive. They've only been open a week um, apparently I was talking to the guys in there so that apparently this is something they've been doing for years as a kind of hobby business. I uh, had a go at it a couple of years ago um, with a shop, made some mistakes then, learned all the mistakes and now they've opened this place and the place is spotless, it's immaculate, looks great, um, really good selection um, and for only being open a week they can only grow from here so I, I wish them the best of luck and I'll definitely be back again. Uh, so yeah, got a couple of plants for myself that I've just got in there for in Penelope's tank at the moment. Um, got a little plan coming up for the pea puffers to move them into a new tank and get that set up for them. So I talked to them a bit more than I caught on the video there, but they they shared a lot of the same values as the things that I'm interested in. They talked about Project Piaba, they talked about uh, various other things that are going on in the conservation and trying to just be more ethical and be more planet friendly, uh, which is always nice to see. Anyway, I'll wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. It really helps me out and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.